Now I remember this Sunday that Tim and his family joined our church. Uh, his mother had come up from Louisiana and had, uh, with tears in her eyes, came up to me after the service and said, I had been praying for this church for years. Now what was significant is we'd only been open for only a few months. But she had been praying that some church would be able to connect with her son and bring him back into a family of faith. And it was reassuring to me to know that we were doing what God had called us to do. When you heard of people who had been praying for a church like this months and maybe even years before we ever existed. And so that continued to drive us. It continued to drive the vision of the church. It continued to drive us to want to invest ourselves in people's lives, but not just those inside this church. Again, we wanted to get beyond our walls. So we began to build a culture in our church through a group of uh, ministries called our Kindness Projects. And month after month, we would take a day every month and we would go and we would do something just for our community. We had no agenda. Uh, when people asked us why we were doing what we were doing, uh, we would tell them we just wanted to show the love of Christ through kindness. So we bagged groceries, we put uh, quarters in laundry machines, we'd go to preschools in the community and we would clean them. Uh, we had opportunities to go out to the Hannah home and loved on the women and the children there. We just wanted to get involved in different aspects in the life of our community. Some of the ministries that really kind of you know, stick out in my mind are some that we've had some ongoing relationships with since our first initial contact. Uh, one of those would be uh, with the YMCA and we had an opportunity to work with Lakita Smith and the Boys and Curls Clubs there and I love the way she describes the relationship that we have with her. The YMCA we work with over 300 children in Tuscaloosa City. These are low-income children from single-parent homes. They are typically your children who you would write off because of their behavior problems. You know the YMCA our outreach program that's who we work with. And I can honestly say that this partnership with North River, because I've worked with these children for so many years, has really made a difference. Um, when they know that we're getting ready to do some of the events with North River, their entire mannerisms change and they're on their best behavior. And it's not, and honestly, I cannot say that they're just doing it because they know we're gonna go to this event. Um, there are kids, you know, when they were baptized, that they are going to church regularly now. And it makes sure I know this. You know, that they are being a part of something. And I can honestly say, just from listening to those children and their parents, that North River really did make a difference. Now, I have loved all of the different ministry opportunities we've had and had the ability to do with uh, the YMCA and these, and these children from these Boys and Girls Clubs. Um, they are hurting, they are suffering, and it is an amazing time just to love on them and put your arms around them. and. Um, I, I, I guess, but of all of it, I have absolutely loved the day I got to baptize six of them in one day after having the opportunity to share the gospel with them and seeing them respond to give their heart to Jesus Christ. And it was, for me, so personally rewarding to invest in the lives of these children. And uh, I think I'm a better person because of that relationship. Um, but we didn't want to stop there and just in that part. So we've had other relationships in uh, the West End. Uh, we had an opportunity to work with a homeless shelter there called the Jesus Way Homeless Shelter. Uh, back in July, we were able to invest over $20,000 from the life of our church uh, into renovating these shelters. And um, it gave us an opportunity to meet a need in Tuscaloosa County. Homelessness is um, a ministry, it's a need that is um, fairly unmet in our community. And so we wanted to try to reach that and touch it. And to partner with the Jesus Way Shelter has given us a great opportunity to put our hands into this ministry and to place uh, families into a shelter where they can be loved and taught the love of Christ. Around the corner though from the Jesus Way Shelter, we had an opportunity to build a relationship with the First Community Church uh, and their uh, feeding kitchen and uh, it's uh, an incredible ministry that we've gotten very hands-on with and very involved with, uh, monthly sending teams down there. But beyond sending teams down there every month, we've got individual members that go back and have become very personally involved in this ministry. And um, I love listening to Henry Green, uh, the pastor of the First Community Church, talk about uh, one of our families and uh, kind of their love and their involvement for his ministry. 
First Community Church provides a, a breakfast ministry to members of the community who otherwise would not be able to perhaps get a meal on the weekend. Uh, this is a four course meal that's provided to indigent, uh, homeless, unemployed, underemployed, anybody who shows up, we try to put a meal in their hand. Uh, no one is turned away. And we also operate a, a, a food bank uh, that we give food baskets to people on a regular basis, as well as a clothing bank. And we try to have them all running in conjunction uh, with each other on Saturday morning. Uh, one of the things that has really helped us out is the fact that uh, North River Church has continued to support this ministry, been there for us, and we've really benefited from it because we in turn allow the people to benefit from it. It's been a godsend in my opinion, but it's something that we felt was vitally needed in the community and with the help of North River, uh, we've been able to accomplish this. Meeting uh, Pastor Henry Green has been one of the exciting parts of this journey for us. Uh, I have learned a lot about how to love our community through watching him and the work of his church. And it's an amazing place uh, for me to learn and become a student of compassion uh, and love for Tuscaloosa County. A man once told me, if you uh, love the people in front of you, God will bring you more people. And uh, right now the North River Church is feeling the effects of the truth of that statement. Every Sunday morning we sit in a small little facility packed and thankful for it. But our little facility has um, reached its capacity and we're outgrowing it. And the vision that God's given us is outgrowing the little facility we're in. So we're in need of building a campus, a campus large enough to house our family and the vision that God's given our church. We want to get to the point where we can continue to create new ministries, continue to help and partner with other churches and other ministries in our community that are already doing an incredible job. And we want to begin planting churches, both here in our community, in our state, and around the world. We want to come to the point one day where the sun never sets on the influence and the ministry of the North River Church. Not so that our name would be remembered, but so the name of Jesus Christ can be taken to the uttermost parts of the world. And we're asking for you to join us in making this vision a reality.